Friends, as a part of UPSC Personal Test Series, today I am giving the second tip. When the board asks you a question for which you can tell multiple points, my suggestion is tell each point briefly, give an example and move on. The reason I am telling is this because in the mock interviews we have observed that some candidates, when we ask them some broad questions, Though they can tell some 10 to 11 points, they'll take a single point, they'll try to elaborate it. Because of elaboration, they spend almost 3 to 4 minutes on a single point. So, the board member would like to move on to the next question because nobody can give like 10 to 15 minutes to explain 10 points. So, you have to tell each point just for a few seconds with the example and move on. For example, if the question is, let us say about the uh, quantum uh, technology. Let us say. For example, for quantum technology, if the question broadly is what are the advantages of quantum technology, how it is useful to us, why should India invest in R&D of quantum technology? Of course, the first thing that comes into mind is financial services. Within the financial services, differently we can explain the application of quantum technology elaborated. We can tell how this technology helps in safe financial transactions, how the trading possibilities can be increased and sped up, and how analytics can be used in the financial services, how deep understanding of finances is possible because of power technology. Means we can actually discuss a lot about the application of quant technology in the financial services. However, my suggestion is to take each sector Finish quickly. For example, tell that, sir, quant technology is becoming very important. For example, in financial services, the risk of transactions can be reduced, the trading possibilities can be increased. Coming to the cyber security, the communication can be made unhackable, and the possible hacking can be reduced by using quant technologies. Coming to the health sector, quantum imaging can actually help in 3D mapping because of which better medical diagnosis is possible. And coming to the logistic sector, quantum technology helps us in better fleet management, better supply chain management. So like that, for example, even in the weather forecasting also recently, Russia used quantum technology in developing better weather forecasting models. So like that, you try to move from point to point quickly by giving an example or two with a brief explanation, rather than sticking yourself to a single point and explain detail. For example, even let us say recently a uh, universal healthcare. If the question is, see recently in the news, you know, healthcare is there. What are the main problems in uh, implementing this universal healthcare in India? You can tell, see of course, you can tell the main reason as a lack of fund. Only on the lack of fund, you can actually allow or explain also. For example, only 1.6% of GDP has been used, you can explain. But my suggestion is, instead of explaining a single point, you already tell that. So one problem is lack of funding. Second thing is the shortage of the healthcare workers and the infrastructure is lacking in India. Even the private healthcare is very high in India, almost 60 to 70 percent of the healthcare in India is scattered by private sector. Even the awareness among people is very less about this. Even the penetration of insurance in India, health insurance is very less. So there are the various reasons why implementing universal healthcare is a problem in India. You can tell like that. So always try to brainstorm, come up with more points. So use this tip and definitely you can answer the questions better whenever you are facing some broad questions. Thank you friends.